What is up, guys? You already know who it is. It's Attack the Games. And uh, before I, you know, get started with this whole introduction, sorry for all the background noise you're probably going to hear. But uh, as you already can tell, the reason to this video is because uh, we just came out of um, EA Play, the press conference, um, and I have a lot to talk about. But first, before I talk about my personal opinions and how the uh, press conference went, I'm going to give you guys a little recap on what went on, just in case you missed it. But before I get into this video, thank you guys so much for su su <laughs> subscribing to me and supporting me. 95, let's get it. About to get up to 100 pretty soon. So thank you guys. Of course, hit the notification so you know I'm uploading because it is E3 week. Week, and I'm going to be uploading uh, a lot, you know, game trailers and all that stuff. And of course, if you like the video, please smack that like button, comment, of course, and subscribe. Now, starting off the press conference, we were introduced to, you know, a short little trailer summarizing what we're going to see a little bit. And uh, then they moved on to uh, a drum line of sorts with some guys wearing Patriots jerseys. And then we're shown Madden 18 and specifically uh, the trailer for the story mode that's going to be called uh, Long Shot, where you pretty much play as a prospect uh, who gets to play through colleges, which is, yeah, confirmed. We play through college at some point and then we go to the um, NFL. And it's going to have, you know, some similarities to what we saw with um, FIFA's story mode last year. And then after that, we moved on to FIFA, speaking of FIFA 18. And uh, the story mode is going to bring back Alex Hunter seeing how as everybody loved him from the you know the previous story mode so you know you can clearly already see a trend of story modes happening wouldn't be surprised to see that from NBA Live 18 and then after that we move on to Need for Speed Payback they showed us um, a gameplay demo of uh, this beautiful Mustang or Shelby GT trying to steal a car from a truck during like a heist against the house which is who you're going up against and everything goes uh, batch of crazy of course and you end up with this sweet ride towards the end um, one of the one of the three characters that will be playing as Jess, uh, she gets ambushed by the police, and that's where the demo cuts off. And um, after that, uh, we're introduced into a brand new game called A Way Out. It's pretty much a mandatory co-op game made by the same guys who made uh, a brother's a tale of two brothers or something like that um looks really interesting it pretty much tells the story of these two guys that have their own reasons for escaping out of prison they work together they escape prison and uh based on based upon what we've seen from the trailer it's going to be a uh, crazy journey so since i never really played uh tales the two brother thing i guess i'm going to give it a shot with this like i said it's a mandatory co-op only so you have to have somebody play with it but there is going to be an option for online co-op so that's good as well and uh the next thing is bioware talks well they didn't really talk about it they just revealed the trailer um for their brand new ip called anthem and we're going to learn more about it at the microsoft press conference because um the game works along with Project Scorpio so that's really something exciting to hear now if you watch my prediction video on the EA press conference I thought they were gonna announce or rather you know talk about the new Dragon Age game that they said they were working on so maybe they're gonna you know take this time to work on it a little bit longer and probably after Anthem comes out or before we'll probably get some news about the new Dragon Age game and uh, next thing after that is um, NBA Live 18 and then that's actually when they talk about uh, career mode, but it's not story mode. So, you know, don't get those two confused. It's actually called the one Yeah, so what happens is you can choose from two leagues You can play street league or you can play professional league you take your character from there you rise up to fame and whatnot well, You know, it looks really interesting and whatnot it takes a few pages from Well NBA Street volume 2. That's what I was kind of feeling like when I first saw it So it's definitely interesting gives me uh, a chance to, you know, play NBA Live this year because I don't know if 2K is going to be nice and all, seeing how as a, I'm kind of a little, um, I would say, flushed at the moment with 2K right now. So, And then for the rest of the press conference, for the last 30 minutes, we were treated to a crap ton of Star Wars from gameplay to, you know, live gameplay. We got a trailer. Uh, a lot of things are confirmed. More three times as big as the first game with more heroes customization different planets different eras and um they talked about uh the free content that we're getting because this year if you didn't know they're not doing a season pass because they really really messed up on star wars battlefront and this is their way of saying we're sorry please uh, forgive us just another way of just telling us to please take our money and uh it is confirmed that finn and um uh, captain phasma will be in the uh, first set of 
free content because it's going to be inspired by um, The Last Jedi. And that was pretty much it. The conference ended with a 20v20 Star Wars Battlefront 2 live gameplay uncut. Uh, it was really amazing. And then it just kind of ended on Star Wars Galaxies, the heroes or whatnot. All right, and that was just pretty much it for um, the whole conference. Now, let's talk about um, how I felt. Now, compared to last year's EA press conference, I got to say it's a step up definitely but it's not you know a major step up it's like um you know just a hairline um there is a lot of good things that they did starting with the way the ceo um started out the show i like that he addressed his shortcomings you know because ea if you already know if you're a gamer that they're not really a well-liked company you know they've have their They've had a lot of else recently. I just tried to upload their trailer for Need for Speed Payback. Got copyrighted. Don't know why. It's uh, really stupid, but hey, it is what it is. So I'm really glad that he actually addressed his shortcomings. He's making fun of it a little bit because the best way to move forward is to, you know, just address that the past happened and that that's totally okay and the fact that he was making fun of it a light-hearted moment you know it actually gave me um a sense of confidence for the, how the press conference is gonna go and then everything was okay right until um they started showing off the fifa uh, i for me i kind of felt like it was kind of getting slow from there downhill because the way they introduced it they kind of like cut in on accident they play i feel like they played the trailer a little bit too early than what they were supposed to do and then the, the, the two guys they came out uh, i forgot what their names were uh it was just having this little awkward thing and i just totally want to forget about that and then when we moved on to like need for speed we had uh jesse uh wilkins plisman or so the guy from a uh, um girlfriend boyfriend pranks you know uh if you know e3 then you should already know that this there's fails bound to happen and he was the first fail of the week um he couldn't even remember what the name of the game was and he was all flustered and uh he was totally nervous and all that and this is another reason why i don't really like celebrities celebrities uh, as much to really talk about games because and they say they're gamers, but they're really not so But yeah, pretty much a fail on that part and then there is other fails too. It was small and minor But you know, obviously they're e3 fails, but I felt um, Especially for the 20 v 20 now if you remember last year back when there was what was it 64 you know 32 v 32 you remember the celebrities and some of the gamers that went up against each other for battlefield one now that was a i wouldn't say a complete disaster battlefield one was sexy but it was just really really awkward because of how the celebrities reacted most of these celebrities don't even play games like that and to see them playing battlefield one like that it was pretty atrocious it was awful so i'm glad that this year they decided to get actual gamers and youtubers and twitch streamers to show off star wars battlefront 2 you know especially that guy going ham with darth maul i really like that it shows uh how much damage we can do with him although we can't really re reflect um laser blast with him so that sucks and um that's pretty much it for me if i had to rate the um this press conference i would say Six and a half out of ten. A lot of things they could have done better. Uh, it was, uh, I want to say short and sweet. It was actually pretty lengthy, more than I expected. Probably was expecting an hour and 15 minutes, not like an hour and what was it, 35, 40 minutes? But yeah, it was whatever. So that's it for this, guys. I'm going to be uploading uh, the gameplay trailers that we just saw there. I'm trying to get a quick start on for tomorrow, getting ready for Microsoft and Bethesda's press conference. He's got to get the questions all up and ready. And I'm trying to go on Twitter right now. And doing this thing for an NVIDIA GeForce, trying to enter in that contest. Um, tweet about a lot of games that I want to play for PC. I might win. Cross the fingers for that. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Get ready for E3 week. And of course, peace out.